Yo guys, what's up? The Chrome NA here. You guys might know me as Chrome. Bringing a little commentary for Top 1v1 Sniping and how it should be running from now on. I will be talking for DSR Tank, the owner of Top 1v1 Sniping, so whatever I say is coming from him, not me. So let's start off of how we all know that Top 1v1 Sniping is on, its, on their way to coming back. And we want to make us stand out differently compared to other channels, 1v1 channels, or any other kind of ranking channel. So, if you guys want girl rankings, We've been thinking about that. If you guys want girl rankings, leave a comment saying yes. If you don't, then leave a comment saying no. We need to know if there should be girl rankings for 1v1ing. All right. Next, let's get into GFX designers, guys. If you want to be a GFX designer, first of all, you got to be able to prove that it's your GFX, and you got to be able to make us backgrounds and logos for top 1v1 sniping, tourney winners, and number one 1v1ers ranked on top 1v1 sniping whenever we need it. You don't have to get it done right away, but we will like it to be done within a week. To be a GFX designer, you will need to do at least one of the following three. You gotta be able to make a speed art, making a background for someone, and have proof it's your video and not someone else's that you found. One or two, my bad. Two is make a background and logo for top of one sniping. Depending on how many we get, we will decide if we have a contest or not for the leader of the GFX team. And lastly, three, make a custom intro for top of one sniping. If you use a template, that's fine, but the chances of you making the team is slim to none. Enough of GFX, now let's get into recorders and editors. Alright guys, if you want to be a recorder, you gotta be able to record in HD quality, doesn't matter if it's a capture card, PVR, but you have to have one of them, even one of this other kind of recording device I can't say without sounding like a retard, but as long as it records in 720p or up, you're good. And uh, you gotta be able to record for many people, you don't have to be able to record for anyone, you don't have to record for everyone, it's your choice, but be an active recorder. The most active recorder will be subboxed by Top Movie One Sniping. Same thing goes with editors. The most active editor will get subboxed by top 1v1 sniping. You, if editors, if you you don't have to be a phase meek, you don't have to do no crazy shit. It's a 1v1, so just put put color correction, cut the clips, put a non copyrighted music, and you're good. That's simple as that. We don't have to have great editors, but we need simple editors. So yeah, that's pretty much it for recording and editing. So let's get into referees and rankers. All right, guys, if you want to be a referee, that means you have to be trustworthy and loyal. Same thing goes with rankers, but. If you want to be a referee, you got to be trustworthy and loyal, and you got to know the rules. If you don't know the rules, learn them if you want to be one. Referees, mainly, if you guys don't know, are for people who play a FR game that don't have a recorder in the game. So, refs work for the site or channel, and they send a report of who wins and who loses because they know the rules, and they're not biased, and they're going to be fair to both players. And to be a ranker, guys, you have to have referee experience. So you can't just start off as a ranker if you've never been a ref. You got to start off as a ref, guys. You got to start off somewhere, and it's just like with the refs, rankers have to be loyal and trustworthy, also. And this goes for both referees and rankers. You both need to have a Skype. Must have it. No exceptions. Also, guys. Lastly, if you want to be a ref, make sure you fill out the form on the top of me on sniping channel. All right. And then lastly, guys, let's talk about how we want top of me on sniping to work in the future. Uh, we will be doing contests, player of the month, giveaways, and tournaments, and IRL videos. IRLs will be going at 500 uh, every 500 subs. Currently, we're uh, at around 4K subs, so we will be doing the next one at 4.5, 5K. We might do one for 4K. I do not know for sure, but expect an IRL every 500 subs. Tournaments. We will try to do more tournaments in the future, but we don't know what the prizes will be yet. So there will be tournaments, but we don't know what the prizes are yet. Alright, and player of the month. We'll go to the person who with the most videos in the month of them winning, guys. You will not get player of the month if you getting slapped 30 times in a month. And giveaways, guys. We'll be doing random giveaways such as money, Xbox Live membership, and Microsoft points, etc., etc. And contest, guys, that, that includes, or includes GFX contests, editing contests, and whoever can hit the longest spawn trap piece in a 1v1. Like MW2, we might do who could hit the most on Scrapyard, or Black Ops 2, who could hit the most on Nuketown. We just don't know, but we will be doing those kind of stuff in the future. And real quick, guys, just want to let you guys know there is no form to fill out to get ranked on top of and sniping. All you need to do is send a message to the channel telling them who you beat, and you need proof. And you guys, you can have picture proof, too. So just take a picture of the score if you can't get a referee or recorder. Basically it, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, how Top Women's Siphon will be and uh, how it will work in the future. Guys, make sure you drop a comment what you think. Uh, give it a little like also. And uh, thank you guys for watching. This is the Chrome and A, also known as Chrome, and I'm out. See you.